as your people we declare your mighty words blessed be the lord god almighty who was and is and needs to come blessed be the lord god almighty who reign forevermore father in heaven how we love you yes we do we lift your name in all the earth may your kingdom be established in our praises as your children we declare your mighty love blessed be the lord god almighty who was on his knees to come blessed be the lord god almighty who reigned forevermore and forever he will be forever the land upon the throne i glad about money in i worship you alone and forever you will be <coughs> forever you be the land upon the throne, the land upon the throne. And I'm glad in my money, and I worship you alone. Oh, heaven is declared, the glory of the risen Lord. Who can compare with the beauty of your love, my God? And forever it will be Jesus. Forever you'll be the land upon the throne. Forevermore. And I glad about my knees, yes, Lord. And I worship you alone. And I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you who is can compare unto you, Jesus. I worship you. You're the Prince of Peace. That is what I love to do. I give you praise because you are my righteousness, my righteousness. My holiness is you, and I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you, yes, nor is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I could say for all he sent me to long and found. There is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can 
suffer all. Time it's a long and far. There is none like you. And your mercy flows like a river and wine. Healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are saved in your arms. There is no like you, Jesus. There is no like you. No one else can touch my like you do. I can serve for all. It's an it's long and found. There is none. There is none. There is none like you. Who can be compared unto you, Lord? Among the gods, there is no God besides you. Who is the creator besides you? Who is the sustainer besides you? Who is the owner? Besides you, you are the owner of my soul, my mind, my heart, my body, and everything that I have belongs to you. I therefore present this minute before your throne of mercy. I want to attract your heart this afternoon. I want to bring my ears closer that you speak to my heart. And I will tell your people what you want them to know. As you have a short time to warn us to prepare ourselves that we might be ready as you're coming i give you the praise i give you the worship in jesus name kindly send your bible with me if you want as i continue my message that i started yesterday how the bride need to prepare himself herself for the groom in any marriage ceremony the bride must be waiting for the bridegroom the bride must be in a constantly waiting for the bridegroom beloved when we are planning for a journey. Sometimes we plan it one year ahead. Sometimes we plan it two years ahead. Just recently, my nephew, my niece, my niece, sent me a letter from Germany inviting me to her wedding ceremony. And I thought it's going to be just a few days. And uh, the letter came. And the letter is one year ahead of time. So she addressed uncle. I'll be very delighted if you can come into my wedding ceremony. I said, I'll be very pleased. And I look at the date. It's exactly one year ahead. So wow. I'm totally confused. Either the young lady is confused with its time. But having European background, being European, I believe, although she is half African, she can make such a mistake. Inviting her uncle to her wedding and giving her a wrong year. It's exactly one year. So my daughters were contemplating, Daddy, is it such a long period of time? I said, yes. It's only we African that we don't plan ahead. That we do things when we wake up, we go and do it. Europeans don't do things like that. One year notice of a marriage ceremony. Well, it's not only Africans or Europeans that plan one year ahead. Heaven also plans one year, two years, ten years, hundred years before we were born into this world. The Lord Almighty has planned his marriage wedding 
with the church for such a period and a long time. And we are amazed, my men, to us, what can you know? And church, let me know for us here. Are you frying it? No, I must see you see how they train and you throw clean. And church, be on and off us about. But only I buy on a frame, so on coming person will buy my if for sheer. The correct day to now, a fit pepper pepper pepper. Hey, a free mudo do do. And the sound I want to know, or yellow, in fear, you know, on my way away. Now, so what we be around fine show. And that is what the Lord has also planning with us that we'll be aware of his coming, that we will not program anything around that sign. Ladies and gentlemen, our preparation towards the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is as simple as taking care of our ways. Yesterday, we picked it from the scripture according to Psalm 119. The verse one going. And right here for us here, I want you to or how any doing corona to jam back on air corner. Now to jam on my training corona and casa any in your so the nine and eight and nine was our foundational scripture. How can a young person keep his or her way pure? And he said, by observing your ways, by observing your ways. He gave the answer. Come back in a branch of the best fossil axel now pine home. Or say, and it's our grand host said, they are winsome as it's not yensome, it's not according to our ways, but according to the ways of God. So this afternoon, I want to concentrate on the revealed ways of God that God wants us to prepare ourselves. On the revealed ways of God that God wants you to be very careful. As the day and the time is approaching, that you and me will not contaminate ourselves and defile ourselves, our ways. The way number one that God warned us can be seen in the book of Genesis. Can you go there with me? The gospel, the gospel, according to the word of God, as God gave to Moses, the first book of the Bible. Gospel is good news. <laughs> Some of you think that when we're talking about gospel, we're talking about only what Jesus said. What Jesus revealed to Moses is also very, very important. In Genesis chapter 17, we want to take it, uh, take it from verse number one. Moses and Woman, it's kind of see. Don't soon teach him back on Genesis didn't soon. Genesis 17, verse 1. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Wow. Abraham has been the age of 99. If it is in our tribe, 99 year old man is basically a person. Who has dementia? A person who has asthma. A person who has eyes problem. A person whose teeth with denture. A person whose bones is being sustained by uh, a walking stick or walking frame. Brother Abraham D. If you shared your crown, crown, paper, pen, and yanko pon in the bone, put in pon as a mini yamit chedi ampon, and to menim. I want to cream on my head. So we didn't fear or how our young Mary Moa. The name for phone you know. I have one thing for you. Any other one you know I have one thing for. Ne se any other one dia biyo. Ne mkoto biya ni dia. Ne ni 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 dia biyo. Everything that he possesses does not belong to him again. It's not original. When a man is ninety nine in our time, that person is no longer having anything which is original. The heart. Has been made in my past hearts. The teeth is denture. The eye has gone through a lot of surgery. And the brain is passing through a whole lot of refurbishment. <laughs> God spoke to Abraham and said, Be faithful and be blameless. This is the first thing that God requires of every human being who wants to make heaven be faithful and be blameless. What is faithful? Faithful means being trustworthy. 
a person that can be trustful, a person who is committed to everything that has been given unto him, and he keep it as it is, faithful. Faithful. That's my definition. Abraham said, one he says one two he says it's two he does not add up he does not miss up he does not confuse himself with any other thing he knows exactly what is required of him being faithful he doesn't miss up words be faithful do you want to make heaven be faithful Faithful person is one of the least people that you can find. Jesus said, when, when the Son of Man has come on this earth, can he find a faithful person? Are you a faithful person? Are you faithful with your money to God? Are you faithful with your time to God? Are you faithful with your relationship towards God? Are you faithful? God wants you to be faithful. Every area of your life, that is the first requirement. This is the ways of God. Are you faithful? Are you faithful? Number two, in the same commandments, he said, be blameless before me. Be blameless. Be blameless. Ladies and gentlemen, what does it mean to be blameless? To be blameless simply means let no faults be found on you. Mm. Let nobody find a fault on you. When people are searching for fault, let nothing of that sort be found in you. Faultless. Be blameless. Be a person that nobody can accuse for any evil thing before me. It is before God. It is before God, not before man. When you stand before God, are you blameless? Be blameless. What does it mean? It simply means God will hold us no responsible for anything that happens around, within, and without. When you are why you why are you blameless? Walk before me and be blameless. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how the bride wants us, the bridegroom wants us to prepare to meet him because he is faithful, because he is blameless. You want us to be blameless. Nyamiye umwa. I dare you to obey me and do no work. Obey me and do no work. One year, you didn't do this one well. You didn't do this one well. That is the ways of God. He want us to keep number two, three ways. The second ways. The second way is Deuteronomy chapter five, verse thirty-three. Deuteronomy 5, 33 reads, Walk in obedience to all the Lord your God's commandment, so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Walk in obedience to all, all his commandments. Do you know them? Do you know the new and the old commandments? Do you know them? Was the Nancy Elbo or Setium? And when your member and Semina didn't even have Semina, so now I'm quite now. Whereas I say, who are we young Copon and Emma Wallace? The Tronomy chapter five, verse thirty three. The Tronomy chapter twenty seven, verse seventeen. Thou hast avoid the Lord this day to be thy God and to walk in his ways and keep his status. Walk his ways and keep his status. His ways and his status are his commandment. Are you somebody who is waiting on somebody to bring a change on your way? 
Ladies and gentlemen, you need to facilitate yourself. Change. Change is something that should happen spontaneously. Change is something when you consider that things are not right with you, you sit up straight away and amend your ways. This is what the Lord is requiring of you and me at this coming age. He said, as my coming is approaching, I want my people to walk on my status and fulfill all my ways. Ladies and gentlemen, never leave with assumption that another day will come and another opportunity will come. Assume the opportunity that comes on your way. Because change will never come without your participation. Stop depending on other people that they are going to bring you what you will make you change. Because a change is within you. Jesus is the game changer. Allow him to come into your life. And he will help you to walk in the counsel and in the purpose of God. Many of you are walking in deception thinking, thinking that somebody is at fault. But ladies and gentlemen, unless I'm until you are me decline to walk in the counsel and in the status of God and keep all his commandment and his judgment, ladies and gentlemen, we will be too far from his coming. Are you preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? These are the requirements. Hacking unto the voice of God. Meditate upon his word in obedience. In obedience. Walk before him. Walk before him. And pursue all his ways. Not your ways. Pursue all his ways, not your ways. For our ways are dangerous ways. But the ways of God are the perfect ways. The ways of God are the perfect ways. Turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter number 10, verse 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12 says that we are to go after the Lord. And now Israel. What thou the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. This is the requirement. O Israel, what your maker is requested of you is to love him, to follow after him, to seek him with all your heart. Seek him as you are seeking money. Seek him as you are seeking a wife. Seek him as you are seeking a treasure. Ladies and gentlemen, if our energy that we put on searching for money and searching for wealth is equally in the proportionate to our searching to know God, our life will be in a different sky. We will live in a different land altogether. Search the Lord with all your hearts. Search him with all your mind. Search him with all your substances. Are you preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? Your love towards God must be higher and above your love towards everything. Your affection towards God. You must live every day, every minute, every second, thinking about how to please him. Psalm Verse 3, they also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Shine iniquity. Maybe you may ask me, Brother Gabriel, what is the ways of God? That is what I'm teaching you now. 
It is the ways of God for you to become obedient, for you to require of God, come before God and ask him what he wants you to do for him. When the Lord calls, he put the quest on us that we begin to ask him, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And a good wife that wants to please the husband wakes up early in the morning and asks her husband, darling, what do you want to eat today? And a woman that wants to please the husband comes before the husband every day and asks him, what do you want to do? What do you want to eat? A wife that submits to her husband a wife who is seeking for a husband desire and a husband quest. What do you want to eat today? When I went to Africa, my mother would ask me every day, what do you want to eat today? I said, wow, I wish, I wish to be with you all the time. Because I normally don't hear these questions most of the time. <laughs> Let me not go there. Let me not go there. What do you want to eat? That is how we need to come before God every day. See, a banya me and him down in us a ruddy a day. And I walk away from in China. Inquire of the Lord. Inquire of the Lord. What do you want me to do today? I don't sit here in front. And talk to you without asking God, Lord, what do you want your people to hear? Inquire of the Lord, shine iniquity, shine every ways, and ask God every day his ways. Walk after the Lord, walk after the Lord, desire, desire to be where he wants you to be, not where you want to be. It should be your request. SSI will come as so there should be your quest, your quest that you come before God every day and ask Him what pleases Him, what is the demands that He places on you. Manemrawajinimu. Manu, this we are talking about the ways, the ways of God. Deuteronomy chapter 4, 13, verse 4. Deuteronomy 13, 4. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandment and obey his voice and ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. Wow. You see, he, it is progressive. We shall walk after the Lord our God. We shall fear him, keep his commandment, obey his voice, and we shall cleave to him. Yemra yamin chain. Yemfa buoni di ni sroman wa braye di ne mra samso. Na ya rira ni ni eti na ya di ni ya ya juma. Na ya di ya huwa babo no. Na ya somo no. Ya di ya huwa bata sa nyamini ya somo no. Are you walking towards God in that manner? Are you walking towards God in that manner? King David said, as a dear pants for water, so my soul long. We need to have a longing desire every day that I am searching for you. I need you. I want you. I want to be where you are because that is the only place I want to dwell. My heart desire Every day is to draw closer to him. Do you, are you preparing for the coming? Hosea chapter 10, 11 verse 10. Hosea 11, 10. They shall walk after the Lord. Thy shall walk after the Lord. He shall roar like a lion. When he shall roar, then the children shall tremble from the west. When we walk after the Lord, he will be there for us. And our enemy will be trembled before him. Before him. Beloved, the Lord does not want us to serve him from afar. He wants to have a personal relationship with us. 
personal relationship. So he wants us to walk before him every day, coming to have fellowship, relationship that cause us to cleave to him. Now come as well, then it's here, but I need that you and in a banya young co far a tree and bay First Samuel chapter two verse thirty. One Samuel two thirty. Wherefore the Lord thy God of Israel say, and I said indeed that day thy house and the house of the Father should walk before me forever. Did you hear that? The house of the fathers should walk before me forever. But none, but none the Lord said, Be it far from me. For them that our that them honor me, I will honor, and they that despises me shall be lightly esteemed. Let me take it again. The Lord said, I want your forefathers to walk before me every day. They should walk before me forever. But now the Lord is saying, Be it far from me. For them that honor me, I will honor them. Hey, Nyame see, Nyawa di buwa mano, Nyansi di buwa mano. Nyame yue ni peni, Ado fo, Nyame na me kan. Wasi se ubu mi, Nyame si me bu. Ubu bu de bu. If you respect me, I will respect you. If you honor me, I will honor you. God does not honor foolish people. He doesn't honor fools. He does not honor those people who despise him. He said, those who despise me, I shall be lightly esteemed. I will also respond to them in the same manner. As we respond to God, so God responds to us. Life is correspondence action, corresponding action. Our attitude towards God will determine how God will be faithful to us or not. Now, what GN one hour with him? When you're missing your boom in the midst of me, Buno. God wants us to walk before Him every day by honoring Him. Do you honor God? Honor God means esteem Him as the owner and the supreme being over everything. To honor means to give thing that belongs to Him to Him. Give Him the worship, give Him the praise, give Him your body, give Him your affection. Do you honor God? Do you honor God? You hear Pentecostal pastors using that word. Honor God with your substances. Ladies and gentlemen, I say honor God with your heart. If your heart belongs to him, your substances will never be taken away from him. So, baby, I will come on over your party. Be any dear. God wants your hearts. The liars, the cheat, the thief, and the arm robbers. Those people who are mocking their soul, they will tell you, "Give to God. Give to God your money, everything, apart from your heart, because they don't train you to give your heart to Him. But if your heart does not belong to Him, ladies and gentlemen, nothing." belongs to him. The Lord requires truth in us. He demands that we walk before him with truth in our hearts. Turn with me to verse Kings chapter number 2, the verse number 4. 1 Kings chapter 2, the verse number 4. The Lord, that the Lord may continue his word which he spoke concerning me, Saying, if thy children take heed to their way to walk before me in truth with all their hearts and with all their soul, there shall not fail thee a man on the throne of Israel. God will see that there is sufficiency in your abundance in your life. If you walk before him in truth, are you truthful to God? 
When you are left alone, are you truthful? God wants us to walk before him in truth. Okay, brother, this is Old Testament. Darling, these are the scriptures that are going to judge humanity. Do you walk before God in truth? You are a witch, but you say you are not. You are a thief. You are a robber. You are Jezebel, prostitutes. You mock God, yet you hold Bible and claiming that you are preaching the gospel. Are you walking in truth? Are you walking in your true identity? You don't accept anything that God has made for you. You don't even accept your teeth, your tongue, Nothing. I believe the only thing that many people accepted their tongue. That one they can't change it. They can't change the color. All that they can do is to change the words that they say. The devil is a liar. And he as much as you can change your innermost being, neither can you change your outside. Are you truthful to God? We are not quarrel for. We are not quarrel for many. God wants you. As you are preparing, he wants you to walk in truth. He wants us to walk in truth. Walk before me in truth. Walk before me in truth. Walk before me in truth. And see my kindness flourishing and appearing before you every day. Let's read chapter 6. The same Kings chapter 6, verse 12. First Kings chapter 6, verse 12. Concerning this house which thou art in building, if thou will walk in my statutes and execute my judgment and keep all my commandments to walk in them, then, wow, you see the prerequisites of God's performance in among us. And he demands, God places us on demands. Solomon the king is building a house. And this is what God is telling him. Prior to what he wants God to do for him. He said, I will come before you and perform all my promises, my words with thee, which I spoke unto your father David. If, if you will walk in my status and execute my judgment and keep all my commandments. Three things. So when I say I will mark my soul, when I be man, somebody a juma. Now we be one ten. Three days we be one ten. And I remember we chain a be a juma. Send me a share where Jade be the bono. If you walk in my status, if you execute my judgment, not your judgment. If you keep my commandments, not your commandments, I will speedily perform all the promises I gave to your father, David. I will protect you. I will be your shield. I will be your defense. No weapon that will be able to form against you. You know these pastors today, they quote scriptures without giving us the prerequisites. And now I so for can they are not preparing us to be in a position whereby we might be able to take things that belongs to us because they won't sell us what we must do first before God. God will do this. I know it all. Don't tell me what God is going to do. I know it. Tell me what I must do. The gospel has eliminated our position and our works our duty has been taken off and they want us to see god's duty in that place they want us to give money in place of our duty and they will perform that duty for us and it doesn't work all that you need to say is to tap amen and if you are not a fool you've been tapping amen for ages and it doesn't work and you're still tapping amen all that you need to do is to pay your tithes. You've been paying your tithe for ages and it is not working. Oh, my dear brothers and sisters, why have you allowed yourself by these thieves to steal you? The Lord said, walk in my status. Number eight, walk in my whole commandments. 
Number nine, execute my judgment. Did me answer so? You see, it's repeat a little. That is what the Lord is saying. That is, it's all knowing the will of God and walking in them and keeping the judgments of God at heart. That one day the judgment of God will fall. And if the judgment falls, it will only fall about the requirements that He has given unto us. God is going to judge humanity, either we like it or not. Either we know it or not, he will do that. So try not to run away. I was talking to a lady friend of mine. And she was saying that a gentleman was saying that it was bad that God gave us a law. <laughs> Because Apostle Paul said, well, there is no law, there is no punishment. Darling, don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Let us be grateful that God is revealing these things to us. Those things that he's going to judge us with. That at the end, we will not find ourselves in a position where we say, had I known. There is no any other Bible. I was a very young boy, growing up, hungry for more of God. My quest was to read other books, read other Bible that will help me to know God. The only Bible that I had was King James Version, uh, sorry, NIV. NIV. Now NIV, I know that there are so many things eliminated because it was written by a Roman Catholic. To take Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the power of God. Yet God told me that is what you need. His work can still be done in any book that has been translated as Bible. The Lord can still use it to change your hearts. First Kings chapter 8, verse 36. Then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy servant and thy people is dry. That thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon the land. That is not what I want, which thou has given to the people of the inheritance. But the point I want you to, do, to, to, to analyze or to, to underline is that teach them the way you want them to walk in. Teach them. Beloved, we can receive from God by knowing his ways. Oh, when you are when you David a Solomon pie, boy, was he a radio? If it was solo, it's your man pie, boy. So most suffer a radio church, no more war crying, and I'm all over so no more to you. No man, see a so. No man, be a near bus so. I'm asking in your beard. Teach them the ways that when they fulfill it, there shall be abundant rain. I have people coming to me and pastor, I've been doing everything and it doesn't work. I say, you haven't done what you're supposed to do that will trigger the hand of God. Unless you trigger the hands of God over your life, nothing will work. So we are here, baby, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, 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 I'm that is what triggered the heart of God coming before him to know his ways. It's all about his ways. It's all about his ways, not our ways. Let nobody confuse you. Let no one convince you that you need any other thing to please God apart from knowing his ways. Apart from having his heart. Well, yesterday we spoke about his heart. Having his heart and searching for his ways. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. The chapter number six. Read with me the verse number 16. Jeremiah 6, 16. Jeremiah 6, 16. Thus see as the Lord stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way and what therein? And ye shall find rest for your soul. Did you hear that? Your rest can only be found by looking for the way of God. The old path, the Old Testament path, 
in the same New Testament part. But you said, we will not walk therein. <laughs> You want God to come into your life, but you don't want to go into God's life. Beloved, this is the cheap gospel that help us walk in our ways not in the ways of God. Are you running after God? Are you running after God? Are you pursuing God? Are you willing to have his ways as your ways? My brothers and sisters, that is the secret of the preparation towards the coming of the Messiah. Is coming to judge us according to only those who was walking in his ways. The ways of God is the law, for both old and new. Second Chronicles chapter 34, verse 31. Two Chronicles 34, 31. Chronicles 4, and I said, and I said, and and the king stood in his place and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandment and his testimonies and his tattoos with all his heart and with all his soul to perform the words of the covenant which are written in this book. Wow! A king stood before God and made a vow. He made a vow. I am willing to do everything that you command me to do. Are you ready for that? I am willing to walk in your testimonies and in your status. I will never allow them pass by. This should be your prayer. Stop, stop anything that you are praying for and let this be chronicle, second chronicle 34, verse 31. Beloved, there is no magic in this. But this is the secret for those who are preparing towards the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. I shared something this morning on Facebook and somebody came and said, wow, this is what I've been looking for and I finally find it. I said, God, thank you. This is the person I'm searching for. A man that will speak truth to me, not a man that will lie to me. A man who is not afraid of what people will do to them, him. Some of you are afraid of death. Some of you are afraid of death, for you can help others and help your soul. I love it. I love it. When people read my message and say, wow, this is God speaking to me. It's not me. It is God. Make a covenant with your heart. Make a covenant in your heart to God that I am willing, I am ready, I am ready to commit myself to your status with all my heart. Be free my command, you never possess me to And therefore, you shine evil and you focus on God. Welcome, as well, dear. I said, me do our steps to the bonnet party. Me pay me when me I don't need them as friends. I don't need sinners as my companions. Beloved, this is what the Lord is requiring of us. We need men and women that will stand and look at our face and say, this is what the Lord God required of you. That you will make a covenant with his word. Determined to walk in his status, desire to have what he has done for you on the cross. Are you willing to do that? Preparation towards the coming of our Lord. Walk before the Lord. Seek his counsel. Determine in your heart to fulfill the last instructions that he gave you. Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 9. Nehemiah. Chapter 5, verse 9. 
Also, I said it is not good that you do. You ought not to walk in the fear of our God because of the reproach of the heathens, our enemies. Also, I said it is not good that you do. Ought ye not to walk in the fear of our God because of the reproach of the hidden heathens, our enemies? Yeah, move a breeze. Let's see. I didn't have me as a banana. Sons, what time for the bay? Are you rejecting God? When I see people, Christians pray, 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 pray for the for the people in Saudi Arabia, Saudi. Uh, Iran and what will pray for them? Pray for them. I said, What do you want us to pray for? We need to teach them the ways of God. We need to teach them because some of them, our prayer cannot stop it. It's a prophecy which is being fulfilled. But they need men and women that will teach them and have a fear of God within their hearts. Did they fear God? My sad. Question every day is that if these people are sitting in Roman Catholic Church, all of these people because they wouldn't allow Christianity to be in the environment. The only group that they will allow it in this area is Catholic. It's very sad. So the people are dying. We call them Christians, but it may surprise you to know that those who are dying, none of them are believers. Uh, Catholics are not Christians. I'm not afraid to tell you because Jesus has said it. Therefore, I have the boldness and everything to tell you. No Catholic who is still holding rosary and praying through the statutes and drinking and taking the, the Catholic things are going to heaven. No way. Because Catholicism is demonic. And sorry, I'm out crying. I'm crying. Hey, you money and money are for Roman for. Sorry, I think you're going in Roman for. I remember. To be thinking of for Roman for, Roman for the Equa Christophe. I walk and come before as I say so. I'm only a Christophe. Roman, some of your Christophe. They have some some. Omo suma honi ni nuya. I na rosary. Me nun ba ba we be a rosary ni fili ba e. You say come before you could be. I know Mr. Kutabi, so it's maybe an anthem. I mean, can a penalty as a Roman need beer and your Kutas art? What was that in your back of heaven? Yamiaka, no, by God, I've said it. No person who is Roman Catholic, devoted Roman Catholic, can go to heaven. No way. Let us speak the truth to people that you pursue Jesus Christ and not Mary. No, Mary. If this woman, what was her name? Madame Catri, or what do you call Mother Catri, or whatsoever she is. Was she a Catholic? Then no matter what she did, <laughs> holding that rosary, it's lies. She never made heaven. She couldn't, and she wouldn't. Hey, brother, brother, now Casa, and Yaman American, Yamia, because you Roman Catholic, and Nibia, or Baman Chai, Sansa Yamosum. So it does not matter what they did, they were working for Satan. They were working for Satan. Beloved, let us pursue God and know his mind. And the mind of God for our days is that apart from Jesus Christ being the way, Jesus' lifestyle being our mandate, no way. Turn away from the falsehood churches. Turn away the danger of holding on to a cursed gospel. This is what Paul said. I wrote something like that. Hope you are not following your Catholic teachings with your rosary to hell. Hope you are not following Islamic teachings. You are Buddha. You are Saint. You are SDA. You are Jehovah Witness. You are faith Pentecostalism. You are demonic Anglican Church. You are partial Presbyterian. You are complacency Church of Pentecost. You are rationalized Baptist Church. You are Methodist Assemblies of God. You are Church of Christ. And serves or based one man charismatic churches sending souls to hell like pouring grain of rice into a boiling stew or boiling soup. I remember I'm not going to say, 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 I'
And I'm seeing me did this. I want to send it now. Da, I could share any a truck. Any a person, someone, any problem in front of me, I'm a someone more. Roman Catholic, you know. I'm Rosary. We must learn for no. We Buddha for no. We Saint for no. We Hindu for no. We as the any we Jehovah Witness for no. Pentecost for any Anglican for. Presbyterian for any matter this for. I imagine I'm a summa to me saying I'm a summa dear, and one of our come and move no. But it's in the assemblies of God for no. And ne, and ne, a Christ of four, one man churches. I would in the pa air sheer nipper go hell, no jamu at the study air here and more, and I say, bro, a good and so sheer, a piano, a noir, and come here who put up to our hell. Jesus is crying. And he's affirming what the Apostle said in Galatians chapter 1. He said in verse 6, I am shocked that you are turning away soon, so soon from God, who called you to himself through the loving mercy of Christ. You are following difficult, different way that pretends to be good news, but it's not the good news at all. You are big fool by those who deliberately twist the truth concerning Christ. But you are big fool. People who twist Christianity. Perverse people. Women with no nigger name. Eyelashes. Uh, facial what what. Not accepting what God has made for them. They call them step pastors. You are fool. That what the Paul said. You are following such people. And they are twisting your mind. Helping you to think that you are in the Lord. Who is that? German both four from four, and you are two two four. Oh, my mother says I send them yechi. Who do you want me? I'm here in my church. I'm fine. Me run home now. Because I'm funny. I'm so strong for. And the Afrique, Afrique, we are sorry them. Who do you want me to chill? This is what an apostle said. They claim that what they are teaching you is Bible, but it's not. We are not seeing your much church only a Bible. Now we don't find your Bible. They build your faith, only faith, 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 faith. Holiness and righteousness is not part of it. Come, come on, your pa. We find your man among us. There be a jidi, a jidi, a jidi, a jidi, a jidi. Hey, so far in the Old Testament, God never spoke of faith. God never spoke. Why is modern Christianity gearing every towards everything towards faith? The amino acids are bringing in and you're catching Abraham, Moses, David, Solomon, Samuel, one can't get the answer. Get the answer. It's not concluding your name and I'm also demand some so. And then you're getting one in here. All that you need is faith. Now your finger nail. Now your shank. 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 Jesse Bell and man, me and my animal. Only my shank come out, Jiddy. When in every frame, it's for Jesse Bell sister, prostitutes, prostitutes, divorcees. They break marriage, they change men like changing their underworlds. They change wives like changing their underworlds. And you sit down and they are claiming that they are giving you gospel. Listen to what they're saying about the apostle in Galatians. Let God cast fall. On anyone, including us, or even an angel from heaven who preaches different kind of good news than the one that we preach to you. Because Amen. Amen. Let the curse of God come upon me and come upon those people who are teaching fake gospel. Who are saying all that you need is faith. The devil is a liar. But our pastor has said again, I say it again, what we have said before. If anyone preaches any other good news than the one that you will welcome, let that person be accursed. Are you following that cursed gospel? Are you following that cursed gospel? Gospel that lets you feel complacent, comfortable in your sin. I don't need to do nipper. I don't hear you, myself, you have a Johnny. Okay, can you hear you, ma? Me do what I'm doing for. Now, me be shiaoka. I will win you, ma. We be shiaoka. I will walk on so. And now, I don't want to swap. 
Believe me, darling, God is going to reward you according to your ways, not according to his grace. According to your ways. This is what Paul is saying. Obviously, I am not trying to win the approval of people. But of God, if pleasing people were my goal, I wouldn't be a Christ servant. Do you hear what Brother Paul said? I am not here to please people. I'm not here for people to buy me a car, people to give me offering, people to give me shoes, people to buy me anything. Therefore, my heart desires to preach the truth to you. Those people who are preaching for your money, for your tithe and your offering, when they tell you the truth, you will go. But me, if you go, I don't lose nothing. Absolutely. I lose nothing. My reward is already in heaven. Either you believe it or not, my reward is given to me. I can't sleep without telling you the truth. But Paul said, I am not looking for human favor. Therefore, I preach the truth. He said, my message comes from God. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel, my teachings comes from God. It doesn't come from men. The teaching that comes from God rebukes sin. Fight against Satan. Fight against devil. Fight against worldliness. Fight against the flesh. Dear brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that the gospel message I preach is not based on mere human reasoning. I receive my message from no human source. And no one taught me. Is that I receive it by direct revelation from Jesus Christ. And therefore, it is your responsibility to go to God for clarity and stop following the accursed gospel preachers and accept all things and every lifestyle. They accept everything. They make you to see that God accepts everything. Can you find your place in God? Can you find your place secured in God when you listen to these men? We won't know what say. Hey, media me a banker. I do a baby karatis ni me do for me come to the wall. You need to come before God. Are you walking in the ways of God? Are you following the counsel of God? Are you following the status of God? Are you observing what the scripture has said concerning the situation where you find yourself? Are you the preparation towards the coming? The bride preparation is searching the way. Searching the waves, searching the waves of the Father and walking there by with. Are you with me, somebody? Can you turn your Bible with me into Psalms 26, verse 11? Psalm 26, verse 11. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful unto me. I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful unto me. Do you have an integrity? Integrity is noble character. When people speak about you, they speak only well things, good things. Do you walk in that? Do you walk in that? Can children around you feel comfortable to be around? Recently, somebody showed a picture. A teacher had learned it is in Jamaica. That have caused a whole lot of confusion. That a teacher, very beautiful, attractive lady, teaching and having a very skin tight mini skirts. Very beautiful. And they were saying that that lady shouldn't wear that skirt to school. <laughs> Why don't you want her to wear that skirt? So long as her mind is changed, it's not changed. It's not what people wear until their minds are changed. Darling, until the mind is changed, what somebody wear, what somebody wear is not an issue. Let me tell you the truth. El Kapim so be akuma besi sa ni ni pano eh eh she no no enkashu. Yemu bebre yidi se. We are preaching outward, outward. That is not our focus. Our focus is change inside, and the outside will change. Yeah, can you say woman is a son about ten best son? I would have been Jamaica and a nipple to a woman. So you are question minister at your school, but you're not yet. Any class and got it. Oh, I'm to say, we'll be a can you open. Everybody is saying whatever he or she wants. Some say there is nothing wrong with the headdress. 
Some say that everything is wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, the question is not a mini skirt. The question is mini mindset. Your mini thoughts. Your mini mindset. If your mindset is not right, darling, believe me or not, nothing good can come out of you. Walking in integrity. Walking in the integrity of God. Psalms 56 verse 13. For now I deliver my soul from death. Will not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in light of the living? That I may walk before God in the light of the living. Nancy, Nancy, as I see you, Sutti said, I want to know your meaning. Nancy, as I see you, Sutti said, I want to know your That every aspect of yours. Every conduct of yours is being recorded, and heaven is watching. Live your life every day like heaven is watching you. When we say, what's your help? In the light of this world, see yourself that God is watching you. Live your life like that. Psalm 89, the verse number 15, 89, 1, 5. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. They walk in the light of thy countenance. They walk in the light of thy countenance. Ladies and gentlemen, walk before God. This earth belongs to God. Everything that you are doing, God sees it. And he can watch it. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. And seek him who had the, where he will be found. Stop thinking that God doesn't see your way. First John chapter 1 verse 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another. God is light, therefore walk in his light. Avoid the deeds of darkness. Germany. Now, Rabbi, I am a year man. Yeah, I am a fan of the cross. Sorry, they are not born in country. Man, I cry, 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 cry. They are rare. Let me name my people. I do what. I mean, people in Kuruma, I am quite important. You can't come in Kuruma. I cannot go. I am a fan of the cross. What time came? Oh, who? Oh, who? I saw the phone man. He got me. Who is he? I am saying, Ah, that was the last day. That was the last day. That is the day we chat. So, I am a fan. It is now. I am saying, Rabbi, what are you doing? Who are you? Ladies and gentlemen, I had a friend, lady friend of mine, that I used to pay to church. My wife has not joined me. Sometimes she used to prepare soup. I like okra soup. So she used to, she the way she prepares was absolutely good, brilliant. So she, I asked it once, I said, wow, darling, can you give me some? I'll give you money and you prepare it for me. I used to pick her to church, and when she saw one time we were driving to church, she saw somebody and she started hiding herself in my car. I said, what? I was shocked, but that revealed her heart towards me, and that was it. I walk in the light, and I'm not afraid. I walk in the light, and I'm not afraid. How many people, pastor, who are sitting in your car, that you are not afraid that that sister can sit in your car? How many people, brother, that you are taking them to programs where your wife or you, even some one of you, you are not married. You pick sisters every now and then to different programs. Some of you, your wife are staying at home and you pick another woman to go for Christian programs. Where is your wife? The devil is a liar. When we walk in his light, we have fellowship with him. Only when we walk in his light, we do have fellowship. This is what brother John said. If we walk in the light as he is light, we are fellowship one another with God. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all our sin. 
Are you working in the lines of the gospel? Udi nyami asemba obra. Mo jana pepa ho. The blood washes you only when you walk in the light, in the council. The light is the council of the word of God. So we didn't have components and so. Are you following the light? Are you walking in the light? Are you walking in the upright? Are you walking in the truth? Are you walking in the land of the living where you hide not your ways? Ladies and gentlemen, Walking in this such area brings liberation. There is liberty. Walk in the liberty of God. Are you walking in the liberty of God? Psalm 119, again, verse 45. Psalm 119. Psalm 119. The verse number 45. Please, let's go there. We need to walk in the liberty. The blood of Jesus liberates us. The blood of Jesus Christ grant us liberty. When we have fellowship and walk with him, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek that precept. Did you hear that? There is liberty, there is freedom, because I seek your precept. Are you walking in the light The blood sanctify you? No weapon that the enemy throw out on your way shall be able to consume you. Are you walking in the liberty? Are you walking in the liberty? Now you don't have any weight weighing you down. You don't have any hidden mind. You don't have any agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the requirement. Walking in the precepts, walking in the law of God, walking in the ways of God. Some, not Proverbs, that's you, the verse number 20. Proverbs chapter 2, verse number 20. Beloved, this is the mind of God. This is the mind of God for you and me to pursue God in a manner where we can attract the blessings of God. If you are following God and you are not attracting the blessings of God, something is wrong, you are not following him. Those who follow him attract his love, his heart, his blessings. Nothing good is taken away. Somebody asked me, a brother asked me the same question that I'm struggling with. He said, Brother Gabriel, you are preaching against these things, and yet people are having them, and God is blessing them. But we have some kind of So I'm going to give you a lot of money. I'm going to give you a lot of money. I'm going to give you a lot of money. I'm going to That is the danger. And that is something that I'm struggling with also. God. That's not blessing. Nyami shira bane. Proverbs chapter two verse twenty. That thou may walk in the way of good men and keep the path of righteous. Only when a person walk in the path of righteous, David said, he shall be protected. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to verse 8. He keep the path of judgment and preserve the way of his saints. He keep the path of judgment and preserve the way of his saints. Thou shalt, then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and iniquity. Yea, every good path. When wisdom enter into thy heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. Did you hear that? Only when we have our life lined up with the word of God, that is what we are receiving. We can say that it is coming from God. So what can you tell us then? This is how it is. There are so many people that couldn't live holy life. Satan has stolen their goods. Satan has stolen their gifts and he gave it to people that follow him. 
The anointing that you are receiving is a brother, a sister that was supposed to walk in that, but he couldn't walk in that, and Satan have taken it and given to other person to operate in that manner. So Satan is employing them. Point here, see ye. Everybody, they make a home home. Now me bomb pie be sending me what there. The boy on the box is sending both from so I know be a new home. I went to pick mine. God took me into the spirit. And I was praying and I saw the Lord who have parcel gift and it was falling like that in a transit. Maybe you have seen that one thing before. I went and my name was on it. I picked mine and I left. I asked God, what are these ones? He said, these people, when they were praying, they were living in righteousness, but they have stopped living in holiness. Therefore, the enemy is going to take it. The angels cannot take it back. The enemy is going to take it. And once Satan takes it, he gives it to his people who are following them. And therefore, as they are praying, they are still getting their answers. The devil is a liar. Don't be deceived. God can never be mocked. If you are getting answers, if you are getting promotion in the hands of Satan, hell is still waiting for you. The bride will come and you can't make it. I'd rather have Jesus than anything. Beloved, God wants us to walk in his ways. God wants want us to follow his precept. The Lord God wants us to walk in uprightness. Walk in uprightness. Verse 7 of uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 2. He lay up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk upright. Do you hear that? He is a buckler. He is a buckler. He is a buckler. He feeds them. He protects them. Those who walk in upright. There is no middle way. Only those who walk in upright does God be their buckler. He fights for them. He fights for them. He feeds them. He feeds them. Do you get it? So if somebody is not living a holy life, a miracle are being done, sorry, if a Christian sister is having all this worldliness that the Jezebel is putting on and so miracle has happened, I'm afraid, run away from them. That miracle is not from God. We have preached all this gospel in the past that everything was fine. And ladies and gentlemen, I can no longer lie to you. I can't. I need to speak the truth to you because my life is at stake. The Lord loves those who love the uprights. And those who walk in darkness, God refuse and reject them. Verse 20 of Proverbs, verse 13 of Proverbs chapter 2. Who lead the path of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness? Now let me go back. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh fraud things. Who leave the path of righteous and to walk in the ways of darkness? Who rejoice to the evil and delight in the fraudiness of the wicked? Whose ways are crooked and they frown in their paths? They are fraud in their paths. The Lord does not deal with people the way we, we think that we, He deals with them. God's ways are perfect ways. He leaves only the righteous in the righteous paths. Let's go back to John Gospel chapter 11. St. John Gospel chapter 11. Let's learn something over there. The Lord wants us to walk in the day. The Lord delights those who walk in the day. Verse 9, Jesus answered, There is not 12 hours in the day. If any man walk in the day, he stumble not, because he see the light of this world. If anyone walks in the day, they means walk in truth, holiness, and righteousness. Walk in truth, holiness, and righteousness. 
Are you somebody who always have a crooked ways? You see how you suffer. You're always giving a fake smile. You know you're not happy. You can't be happy. You can't be happy. If your ways are crooked and twisted, you can never be happy. Won't you mean you a legend? So why crying? Hey, Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord wants us to walk in a very newness way. Kindly turn with me in Romans chapter 6, verse 4. In a newness way, Apostle Paul said that if we have risen up with Christ, let us walk in a newness way. We need not to conform into the old path. Newness way. Romans chapter 6, verse number 4. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. Our life should be the life of Christ in us. So some know me and Abra by Yesu Christus subind. Who will say yes to Detroda? Who will say yes to tree make up Sida? Who will say yes to share minister to that? Our life should resemble Christ. Are you walking in that newness? In that newness, life is a hard life of humility. My catch at the six. We will come back to Romans. And let's go back to Mike. My catch at the six. My catch at the six is a humble life. It's a humble life. Beloved. That newness life is humble life. The Lord, when he walked on earth, he walked in humility. Why is Christianity no longer focusing on humility? Sorry, Micah chapter 4, verse 5. Chapter 4, verse 5. Micah chapter 4, verse 5. For all people will walk everyone in the name of his God. And we will walk in the name of our Lord, our God, forever and ever. Did you hear that? Every human being that walk on earth, walk in the structure and in the name of his God. Every person on earth walks in the name of his God. Christians walk in the name and in the structure of our God, in the attributes. And therefore, if you see a Christian, you should know who a Christian is. It's very humble outside and inside very humble very humble where you see pride where you see that kind of show off it is not it is in the satan every Living walk in the status of his God. And those who work with God, they have humble atmosphere, humble appearance. This is it, the newness life. It's a life that walk in the steps of our forefathers. God met Abraham and he said, Walk before me and be blameless. Romans chapter 4, Romans chapter 4, please read the verse number 12 with me. Romans 4, 12, and the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of the faith of our father Abraham, which he had been yet uncircumcised. You see now, the first time we have heard Abraham walk by faith in the New Testament. Only New Testament. In the New Testament, there was nothing like faith. They knew God and they walked just like that. Here we are struggling, therefore we bring faith in. We bring faith in. If you know God, 
You have nothing like I have faith. I know him. I know him. Hey, kwa kwenti wo jini di, o mini no pa, mini no. Ako siya na afina wini mne diye. E nimni jidi ya di ayina mudo. Se e kasa wini mwo bi, anisa uji wopi di ya di ayina mudo. Knowledge. God want us to move into knowing him. And knowing him means we are willing to follow his counsel and his purpose. Not after our own flesh, but after the spirit. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. Now there is no condemnation for those who walk after God, after the spirit, who desire the spirit. This is the preparation. Walk after the spirit, not after the flesh. Walk after the Holy Spirit, not after the flesh. Perfect holiness. Second Corinthians. Is it first Corinthians 7? Perfecting holiness. Perfecting it, beloved. Walk after the spirit. See how you can make the spirit grow. See how you can make the spirit fat. No makeups, no artificial. No, but after the spirit. These are the ways the Lord is looking for people that will bring joy into his heart. When you do these things, I will come back again. You will bring joy into God's heart. The Lord wants you to bring happiness into his heart. He is coming for those who are waiting for him. These things bring happiness. As you walk in the counsel of God, as you delight in his precepts, as you seek his banner, and as you walk in the spirit and not in the flesh, you are preparing yourself towards his coming. And let me see, let me add up yesterday, I ended how and who bring joy, how can I bring happiness into the heart? Let me add that one to it, and I will come back again and pick it up at three of the same teachings. The preparation, preparation. Ladies and gentlemen, the preparation towards the coming of God should be a preparation that when Christ comes, he will be happy with us. And now you may ask me, Brother Gabriel, how can I keep God happy? A man that long for his salvation and hope in the word of God becomes stable in the faith with God. When a person long to keep his salvation and to keep the word of God as heart, he will make God happy. Jesus is coming for you, the bride. He's coming for you. Will you be happy when he comes? A man that recognizes that his word is eternal, that the word of God is eternal, that his faithfulness to all generations, his plans for heavens and the earth and the society therein have no end. And that the entire curse will be removed and the creation made perfect forever. Hold God in that manner. Let's see him for a big chin. For a big chin. For a big chin. For a big chin. Such a person brings happiness and joy to God. A man following the example of the Messiah, he learns that through source of wisdom and knowledge is God and his word. Are you searching for wisdom? A worldly wisdom cannot sustain us when Christ appears. Seek godly counsel. Seek godly wisdom by reading the word of God, observing the ways of Christ. A man acknowledging his word to be his guide and light in the life and refuse to err from its truth is eternally going to be happy. So when free nyami asamu, so when tree when when free nyami mrahu, na wo jine nishu shere tume wia ni anajisho. Order for, and then a dia nijebe ba, so yesu ba. A man who rests in the security of God's word and live in the fear of transgression of truth 
They live in the fear of transgression of truth. Beloved, a man that hide the word of God in his heart and fear to transgress the truth. It was sent by see my come mo na ma nya boni bi ensia o. Onipa wona nti wa sa na mo isso. Wona na Yesu ba na ni ba chie. O de nyame asem she wa come mo. A man who does the judgments and the justice according to the word of God and has confidence in the result of the blessing and the cursing has been in God's hands. A man that take his judgment and his justice according to what the word of God says. Would you too much say, I'm here to move a basset, you are a pepe. Hey, you swing, I'm here to move. Ladies and gentlemen, such a man, when the Lord comes, you'll be happy. Are you waiting for the appearance of the Lord? Are you delighting in his word, in his counsel? All that he has said shall surely be fulfilled. Don't let anybody to deceive you. Don't let anybody to deceive you. But pursue God. Pursue God. He is coming for men that has faith in his word at the source of light and pray for God and to walk therein. Men who see the word of God at the source of light. In him is light. John chapter number one, and the light is the life of man. In him is life, and his life is the light of man. Beloved, then Brother Gabriel, what can we do then? What it is left for us is to decide. We need to bring a change. We need to turn away from assumption. We need to move away from assumption. Because assumption is the root and the door for the enemy to enter, ladies and gentlemen, into our knees to kill us and to uproot us from the place where God has deposited us. Any person who will go and base his life upon assumption, I thought, I thought God will forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, on that day. You'll be a fool. Facilitate a change. Bring a change into your life. Pursue it. The Lord, I need a change. Attending unto the counsel of God and following the status of God and allow God to be God over your life. This is what He wants us to do as we are preparing towards His coming. Say a very shame, Sasaya. You never did this, I yet cheap. Now, for young one, so me did this, and me did this, and Mrs. Susa. Me did this, and Mrs. Susa, me, 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 I honor you and I appreciate you, Lord. That your word comes to us, O God, to bring us closer. That your word comes to us, O God, to draw us closer. I have spoken your truth to your people, what you require of us. That we should follow your status in truth, in faith, in holiness, in righteousness, and shun evil. Then will we bring joy into your heart. Lord, I have preached that to your people. I pray the Lord these words will have impact in their life. In Jesus' name. Maybe you are listening to me and say, Brad Gabriel, I want you to pray with me that these words will have impact in my heart. I'm willing to do that. Will you want to pray with me? Say, Jesus, I believe you're the son of God. I believe you died for my sins. I have turned away from the counsel of God. I've turned away from the status of God. Forgive me, Lord. I am a sinner. I repent of my sins. I invite you into my life. Come, be the Lord. Be the Savior of my soul. Save me from my sins. Give me your Holy Spirit. Grant me your heart 
Let me love what you love and walk what you want me to walk. Thank you in Jesus' name. When I'm on Pire Way, bra to the suffering is so me do a brabo so him no more, but much to me, I would be a Christmas umbra. So, right, yes, may you ask some of the me or the boy any for me bonnet semi. Timmy free the antenna home. See, see me pep. I ran him a poor ass and my poor umbra. And found you say, yet, Juma. A way, my tisset. Once someone had to be born, my time. May Joe to me send a crown of my gem come. To and suffer a home, Congress of my brabo swing. O mamma wa coma. O mamma wa jimmy. Me a transiama or me quanina. Beloved, if you have prayed that prayer, I entreat you to continue to listen to this teaching 24 7 on www.gosworthforus.com, www.end time radio, life in Christ ministry. You can also listen to me on Facebook or YouTube. My name on YouTube is Pastor Gabriel Adade. You can listen to these teachings 24-7 as much as you want. Tell a friend, tell a brother, a sister. Also, you can meet me on Facebook, Gabriel Adade. And I share messages that maybe in most cases I don't preach about. Messages that brothers and sisters have shared. Divine revelation about heaven and hell. These messages will help you. Follow me on Facebook. Be my friend. And your life will never be the same again. Father, I thank you and I rebuke the devil who is working against your children. I break every power of the wicked one against your children. I release your children from burdens, from trouble, and from anxiety. I keep their heart in a position where, my God, they will be saved. Thank you in Jesus' name. Healing belongs to you if you are sick because of what Jesus did on the cross. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Healing belongs to you. Claim your healing right now. Claim it. Claim it. Take any cup of water and let us turn the water into the blood. Lord, I turn every water that your people are having into the blood. I turn into the blood. I turn into the blood. As they are going to drink the blood, may deliverance be theirs. May salvation be theirs. May healing be theirs. Thank you because you love them. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Continue to listen to Brother Gabriel, and your life will never be the same again. Until we meet again, the same place at the same time, may the Lord God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.